Google has silently launched an array of AI tools and the fact is no one is really talking about them. I mean, I had created a video about Stitch AI from Google which allows you to sort of create UI designs by giving simple text prompt. And today in this video, I'm going to talk about Whisk AI, which is yet another AI tool from the house of Google, which is currently in experimental phase and Google has not really advertised it much and also not a lot of people actually know about it. So today in this video, I'll introduce everything about Whisk AI, how to use it, how to get access and how you can create cool images and videos using Whisk AI. And if that sounds interesting, let's quickly get started. All right. So this right here is Google Whisk AI and to access it, all you gotta do is to click the first link in the description below or just head over to this URL right here and you will land on this page right here. And it says create some magic and also a button that says ender tool. And as you can see here, you can find a couple of these demos of all the different content like images and videos that was created entirely using the Whisk platform. And you know what the best part is? It is completely free to use, obviously with some limit. And the thing is Google Whisk AI is not really available in every countries yet, but don't worry. I mean, you already know what to do, right? Let's just use a VPN. So here I have already installed and activated the Winscribe uh, VPN. And here I have access to the same already. And now all you gotta do is to click on this enter tool button right here. And now if this is your first time, you will be redirected to a login page. Go ahead and select your Google account. And once authenticated, you will land on this page right here. And this is the UI or the interface of Whisk AI. And now Google Whisk AI is a platform that allows you to create stunning looking images and videos by giving simple text prompt or even by uploading reference images. And the cool thing that I found a lot interesting in Whisk is the fact that if you open this menu right here, I mean this option right here, you can actually go ahead and give a subject image, the scene and also style. And this way you can actually keep the character and all other elements within the image consistent across. And once you have the image, you can then go ahead and turn it into a video or animate it right using Whisk platform itself. So first thing first, once you log in, this is going to be the kind of interface that you will see. So you can simply go ahead and enter the prompt in here and click on the send button and Whisk AI will go ahead and generate the image. For example, I'll go ahead and give a simple text prompt and it says a cyberpunk samurai standing in a rainy alley with a glowing katana and holographic ads in the background. So this is the initial prompt I'll give. And now if you click on this button right here, you'll be able to select the aspect ratio. So in this case, I'll keep it as landscape. And if you click on this settings right here, you can adjust the seed setting and also model quantity. So I'll go ahead and set it as best quality. So it is powered by image and four, by the way. And now all you gotta do is to click on this send button right here. And now within seconds, the Whisk AI will go ahead and create an image based on the prompt that you passed. So let's wait for it. All right, so there you go. We have the image of a samurai standing in a rainy alloy with neon lights and all that. And if I click on that one, I can find a preview of it. Okay, digital billboards behind the scenes. Everything looks good, right? And now if you click on this one, you will find an option where you can go ahead and then further make some edits. For example, maybe I can go ahead and say the main color tone has to be yellow neon okay maybe something random and i can click on generate and now what it will do is it'll go ahead and create an edited version based on the updated prompt that you give so even after generating an image you can then go ahead and make further changes and you can customize it whatever way that you want to and now here's the interesting part you can either go ahead and download the image that you generated or you can even go ahead and refine it as we did now and also animate the same so this right here is the updated version with neon that is yellow neon tint colors and this looks super sleek as well okay and now let's just say I, I i like this one right okay so this is the image that i like the most and next up let's just say i want to animate the same it is pretty simple so i can click on this button that says animate towards the top left corner and I'll click on that one and now you can go ahead and explain exactly how you want to animate this image so this writer is the prompt I'll give and it says animate a cyberpunk samurai standing in a neon lit rainy ally, the katana glows and all that. So basically you can go ahead and give a prompt as to exactly how you want to animate. And now it is pretty simple. I'll go ahead and click on the send button and it says creating your video. And by the way, video animation that is turning a image into video is powered by Google's VO model. So it will take some time. So let's wait till it is done. All right. So there you go. The video is ready and let me go ahead and play it for you. Okay, so we have the rain, the pulsating energy in the katana and everything else. So basically we went ahead and generated a image, then refined it and changed all these colors. And then we went ahead and animated the same. And as you can see, the limit is like 10 generation and I have eight left. So that is basically how you use it. 
and now if i move over to this video tab right here i'll be able to find all these videos that i have created and if i want to i can go ahead and click on this button right here to download the same or even as a gif file and next up another interesting thing as i mentioned earlier is the fact that you can upload all these subject image scene and styling setting and create a customized image based on the current image that you have for example let's say i have a image of a subject so i can click on this upload image button right here and select uh, this man right here so this is my subject so i'll select the same and next step i'll go ahead and select a scene as well so i can click on upload image and select a random scene of a busy street so this one right here so what happens is that the ai will go ahead and analyze the image and create a master prompt which the ai will use during the image generation process so if you go ahead and let's say click on this edit icon right here you'll be able to see the details or the description that the ai has created about this image right here so the, it says a young adult man with medium brown skin tone and curly dark brown hair smiles broadly at the camera i mean the ai has went ahead and described this exact image and if you want to make any changes to it you can simply go ahead and type it in here but for now i'll leave it as it is and i'll close this one and similar is the case for the scene image that we uploaded so if i click on this one right here i can find a detailed view of this uh, image and if you have any style guides or let's say any inspiration photo that you want to upload, you can go ahead and put it in the style section or you can even go ahead and type a image generation prompt as well. And next step, if I want to add multiple subjects, I can click on this plus button right here and add more subject. Or if I want to add multiple scenes or style, I can click on this press button and that should be it. And now I'll go ahead and give a prompt something like a young man with curly hair standing in front of a busy street okay and now what happens is that the ai will use the subject and scene image as reference and then create the photo so i'll go ahead and click on send and let's see what happens and now based on the image that we gave as you can see these two are the images that the ai has generated and as you could probably already tell these two persons in this image is nowhere close to the subject that we uploaded. So the AI is not really 100% accurate in this case. But there's actually a workaround. For example, if you want to stay, I mean, if you want the character to stay consistent, something that you can do is to go ahead and remove all of that. So I had actually used Whisk AI for some time now and I uploaded a subject photo as well as a scene photo. And what I've noticed is that the character consistency is not that great if you go ahead and upload and take it this way. But something that you can do instead is that I'll go ahead and delete all of that. Just like that, close this one. And I'll start with a fresh one. So you can go ahead and ask the AI to create a character for your main, let's say, whatever thing that you want to generate. And I'll go ahead and give a simple prompt, something like this, where I want to generate a portrait of a young white man in his 20s. And now what I'll do is I'll go ahead and click on this send button right here. And now what happens is that the AI will go ahead and create a character based on this prompt that we give. So let's wait for it. And as you can see, here we have two images, right? And next up, what I'll do is I'll go ahead and click on this refine button right here. And now I can go ahead and ask the AI to add additional features. For example, let's just say I want this person to have, let's say, a sunglass. So I can go ahead and say the character is wearing a sunglass. OK, so that is the change I want to make. And I can click on the send button and let's wait. So there you go. Now the character is somewhat consistent and we have the character. I mean, it is not 100 percent accurate by any means. And as you could probably already tell, it is like what? around 60 to 70 percent accurate and next up maybe i can go ahead and select it again i click on the refine button and i can go ahead and say the character in the jacket and as you could already tell the characters are not that really consistent and also whisk is currently in the experimental phase and there you go this writer is the updated one where the character is wearing a jacket I mean, the character consistency is not exactly 100%, but it's more than 60% is what I've seen. So if you use Whisk to generate the image and then refine it right within Whisk, then the character consistency can be maintained to a great extent, but still it is not 100% accurate or anything. And now if you want to, let's say, animate it, you have options for that. If you want to download it, you can download it. Or maybe I can select, uh, let's say, this photo right here and I click on animate. And let's just go ahead and try asking the AI to sort of make this person capturing a photo using his DSLR. So I can go ahead and say the character clicking a photo uh, with his DSLR in hand. So this is the prompt I'll give and now I can click on send and let's see what happens. All right. So this right here is the video that the AI has created based on this photo right here. And let me try to play it for you. OK, look at that. This is perfect, right? We have the wind and all that. 
looks pretty good and other thing is you can only generate around i guess around 10 generations per account so you can only create 10 videos from for free using this is what i guess and as you can see next up i only have like seven generations left and if you want to you can go ahead and download this video as well so basically this is what whisk ai is and this is how you use it and now character consistency is not really that great if you upload a custom photo it is kind of like a hit or miss at times it kind of work i mean i had instances where the ai kind of got it right so let's say like 80 to 90 percent similarity but again at times it will be completely different but if you will have a greater chance of having greater consistency if you generate a image right within whisk itself and if you go ahead and refine it okay so that's basically all i wanted to show you in this video and if you want to use whisk ai just go ahead and click the first link in the description below and if you find a message saying whisk is currently not available in your country just go ahead and enable vpn and it should be pretty much sorted and i hope you guys found this video useful if yes make sure to subscribe and i'll see you in the next one